guys just drank, I think, like four balls of water before my hot massage therapy, so still kind of feeling ugh, but I'm just gonna go with the flow and just enjoy it and do what I can. So I'm not gonna vlog it, but I'm just gonna just chill. I think I have like 30 minutes left, uh, but I drank plenty of water because I know when you get massages, like they move your chemicals all over your place, like all your, all your uh, bodily fluids all over the place. Shortly, uh, I'm gonna pack. Um, that way I can have everything done and like I'll probably just leave out the stuff I'm gonna wear because I mean tomorrow we have to port back so today's the last day at sea which sucks but I mean but yeah go get a massage feeling relaxed and I'm just gonna write a lot of random things today since it's like the last day at sea so I don't know what you're gonna see and what you're not gonna see so it's just day five let's just chill and have fun do you guys get tired of me like wearing this shirt and me in front of this mirror all the time <laughs> y'all probably do well rested guys oh my goodness like he told me did awesome uh i asked if i can post her picture and she said yes and i told her just because she has awesome talent so post her picture right here and so yeah she i had my sweetest massage i think on day three and then i just had my on day five now uh two days later had my hot stone massage and it was awesome Claire, is that you making all that noise? You hear the vacuum? That's probably Claire. She's always working, always working. But hot stone massage, recommended. It's a bit pricey for some people, but if you do a second massage, you do get a discount as well too. I think I got, I got like a $40, a $40 discount. So awesome, uh, solo cruise. I just enjoying myself, going all out, uh, spoiling myself and taking care of my body because I go to the gym a lot and I don't really take care of my body. Like I don't get massages or anything too often or adjust it and I need to do that more recently. I need to do that more recently. So I'm probably gonna start that when I get back home. It's like gonna be like a different whole new life or something like that for me. So uh, I'm just gonna go to the wind jammer and go eat again. Um, I probably take my GoPro and I am going to g capture some last footage for you guys of the outside deck and whatnot. So, all right, well, Cruise is coming to an end, sadly, and I'm gonna miss this mirror and everything, but yeah, well rested, guys, well rested. Uh, this cruise has been awesome. I've met a lot of people. I met people last night and everything, so it was just awesome. So, with that said, I'll you guys be for now. Peace. First time cruising. Um, I'm actually an uh, avid traveler, but I've never cruised. And one of the um, things that I realized I loved about cruising is that everything is planned out. You don't need to make an itinerary because there's so much to choose from. When I normally fly to a destination, I have to make my own itinerary and I hope people can keep up with me. But on a cruise, I'm trying to keep up with the cruise because there's so many things to do so many things to participate in and so many places to eat i personally could not even keep up with the three meals a day i couldn't keep up with all the activities and for the first time on vacation i actually needed a nap i was slain so that's what i love about cruising and i have been bitten by the cruise love bug and i yes. will be back what did you yes. like peaches i really enjoyed the food i enjoyed the selections i enjoyed that you could go in and sit down look at a menu they were more than happy to cater to you if it wasn't on the menu it was something that they covered regularly they were more than happy to bring it out for you you actually could sit down and be catered or if you didn't feel like meeting that schedule they had the wind jammer which you could go and get almost everything that was at your normal dining area i very much enjoyed that I also enjoy the fact that they are really seamlessly able to keep up with you. Like you leave the room, they figure you're gonna be gone for a while. When you come back, housekeeping was done, your bed is made, everything is fresh. Everyone has been so friendly and so wonderful. They have activities by the pool, they have activities inside if you don't wanna be in the sun. It's a very unique type of experience, more so than actually getting on a plane 
traveling to some place and as my sister has said trying to figure out what it is that you want to do here you just have a plethora of things to choose from and you just have to decide which ones are more important or if you're a gung-ho and you're an enthusiast you can try to hit them all good and luck one, to you one on more that. thing the i noticed that the um the culture on a cruise ship i immediately noticed people are more friendly and likely to engage you because true, um just that people will jump in our pictures as if you know just very boldly and we welcome that going to the nightclub people would just grab you and start dancing Great. people are just you know always greeting you and passing even if it's in the elevator so we're all going to the same place we're all going uh back home to the same place so it's like just a really um a very friendly and comfortable it's comfortable that's what i would say comfortable it's a very and unique accepting experience people from all backgrounds even sometimes you might go somewhere like let's say oh i'm going to miami you know i especially when it comes to ladies i notice like no matter what your body size is everybody feels free and comfortable just to walk around it's almost like a no judgment zone so i really like it because normally when i'm taking pictures i'm like <gasps> But no, I just am comfortable, <laughs> uncomfortable. So that's what I like about the cruise. And it's, it was very relaxing. That's, that's what I love. It was great. Excuse me. Yeah. Thank you. I will gotta fold it, but I will keep it inside. Oh. Okay. But the sofa bed that we did like just. Oh. Okay. Okay. Guys, I just wanted to share like all the secret compartments like the ship has. Let me turn on the light here. It's probably gonna be orange. Yeah, but look, okay. So you got that. There's this, of course. I mean I haven't worn any of my, my hats yet, but yeah, so there's that. And then on this mirror thing, like these things actually open like like it's crazy, like see that opens and it's like a secret compartment so yeah there's a lot so yeah open this one here I don't know you can see with the lighting and everything but there we go yeah there's like a like secret compartments everywhere and then in the bathroom hopefully it's not too messy well there's this of course your standard restroom and then all of this is where all my stuff is and there's this and there's actually extra toilet paper and stuff if you need anything so yeah like sometimes i'm curious to like like if there's any because on liberty liberty had a bunch of uh liberty had a bunch of like secret compartments too so it was just like and they don't tell you about this oh the room attendant should tell you about it but it's like you'll find it by yourself it's like how do people live in this in these rooms so but yeah, this is the interior room. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. And maybe I should just close all this stuff because look, I have everything open now. So so yeah, I'll fill it today. All right, guys, I'm pretty much packed, I think. I just need to pack those shirts, but I think everything else is pretty much packed in here. Everything is all back in my bag. So uh, I think it's porting tomorrow. All the information is on on this thing. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I went to, how do I do this? 
I'm gonna end the vlog here. Uh, I really went to guest services to carry all my bills and everything. So tomorrow when the ship ports to Galveston, I can just go and uh, get off the ship with no hassles or anything like that. So now for the rest of the for the rest of the day, I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna go get some drinks. I'm gonna go to dinner. I think it's currently like four o'clock. So I still got some time before dinner. And I'm just gonna go out into the different bars and mingle with people. And I'm not gonna bring my camera or anything like that. Um, I just want a day just to myself, like the last day, unfortunately. But just just gonna chill, no camera or anything. Just gonna chill, no GoPro. Uh, I got a lot of footage, a lot of footage. So I hope this video ends up being as cool as I think it's gonna be, right? Yeah. So we'll I'll definitely do it again next year. I just don't know if I'll go solo or I'll bring a friend or or if you guys want to meet up. Uh, I go on a cruise, let me know, maybe we can take one together. As weird as that sounds like stalkery or something. <laughs> this ship is actually pretty decent size for a first time cruiser. It's not as big as Liberty as I was last year. So I would recommend it for a first time solo cruiser if you want to get the experience to know and everything. Um, I'm, I also am going to post, I did a little, little bit of like side things here and there to where I'm going to, I might post stuff like like what to do in the like what to do if you've never been on a cruise before or what to expect so i don't know how i'm gonna do that yet i got all kinds of footage for that like just like little tips and tricks that will probably help you out if you've never cruised before or if you cruised before in case you forgot so stay tuned for for that's going to be coming up soon i just don't know how i'm going to do it yet or what kind of format i'm going to do it in so all right now i'm just going to go chill and chat into the seas 2000 19 awesome met lots of people met lots of new friends i'm ready to do it again next year or maybe at the end of this year no next year all right peace for men wearing lipstick men wearing lipstick go men wearing lipstick go Team one. 19 22 2 6 14, 10, 10, 10, 12, 15, 4, 16, 21, 18, 9. I can tell some of you, men, all men coming to me like this was very scary, like the worst impression of Ronald Reagan or something. <laughs> Listen up, I told you to wear the lipstick, but at no point I told you to wear on your lips. You can put it on your hand, on your wrist, or arm. But no, you want to put it on your lips. Had a good cruise guys but now it's time to say goodbye so met a lot of people had fun last night i don't know how some people were drinking till 2 30 in the morning but people were passing out and falling out but it was fun it was the last day of vacation so people were going all out so I'm just about to gonna get off the ship and head back home um i said i might go back to the sugarland area but i'm like exhausted and tired and then I think I have to buy a new laptop or a computer for all the stuff that I got because I try to, the MacBook Air is not gonna cut it. So I'm gonna see if I can uh, maybe get an iMac or MacBook Pro or something and just edit all that stuff. So and my camera's about to die too. So had a blast, but it's time to go. Chapman of the Seas, you were awesome. <laughs>